Hey guys, today we're going to do a nice little review here on the uh, Garmin Diesel 760LM. That, that's uh, D-E-Z-L-760LM. Uh, this is a 7-inch uh, trucking GPS. This is uh, this is for truckers. and uh, This, this thing is huge. It's like uh, <laughs> as big as an iPad mini. But uh, not to worry. It comes with a nice little latch here on the back and a really, really strong suction cup. It's a lot bigger than the ones on the smaller GPSs, and uh, it hasn't fallen off yet. And we've been bouncing around for about uh, three weeks with this now. Just uh, really, really liking it. It's got a really big speaker right here on the back, and here's your uh, power button on the back. Just one touch. You can put it in a sleep mode there. And then uh, your power connector's right here, so you can pop this off, take it in the motel room with you. You don't have to leave it on the dash. Also, the power cord that this uh, clips into once you... Uh, plug it in it has a cable that runs next to this that acts as an antenna for uh, live traffic uh, updates and uh, you get lifetime updates with this uh, with this system as well from Garmin so for the life of the product uh, you're good to go so let's jump in here and uh, have a little look we got the got our settings here and I like the way this one works uh, you know, much like a modern uh, smartphone, you can you know touch to you know to scroll down here, or you can you know you can hit the arrow keys here on the side as well. And let's just take a look here. We got map vehicle. Um, you can go in and change uh, you know uh, dashboard options, what kind of vehicle, just uh, just the way the mapping system the way it looks. Uh, truck profile that sets your vehicle characteristics, and uh, you can set up different uh, profiles in here. So if you're all in hazmat or um, you know tanker or whatever, and you can have you know multiple multiple profiles as well if you're doing more than one thing. A navigation that'll set your route preferences. That's just like on any other uh, GPS that you got. Uh, display brightness, color mode, and timeout. Um, Bluetooth. You can connect this to a Bluetooth device, like a, a smartphone, you know, if you wanted to, or uh, you know, a Bluetooth headset. Um, traffic mode and providers. That's for uh, that's for, uh, live traffic updates. So you can go in there and do your settings there. Units and time. That's time units of measure. You know, kilometers, miles, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, language and keyboard proximity alert that's custom points of interest and safety cameras so it tells you where the red light cameras are uh, give you an update say hey you're approaching a uh, you know a, a scale so you know or low bridge etc uh, etc et and then that's a uh, device uh, information and privacy settings on the bottom here so let's back out of this and we'll go over here to apps and we got our smartphone link here which you know like I said you can hook this up to uh, into a smartphone you know, this here is IFTA logging, so you can actually do your logging here, hours of service, and uh, IFTA, you know, for your fuel, and uh, do your fuel, and your uh, hours of service, it'll help you keep up with that. And then you got a trip planner right here, help you plan your trips out. Let's tell you, you know, where you've been, so it's like, bang, I want to go back there. Uh, last spot, you know, that you parked at there. Uh, voice command, it's actually just voice command, and it works out uh, uh, pretty good. It's actually, you know, pretty good, especially in a, in a truck there, you know, you got a lot of, a lot of noise, a lot of road noise there. Uh, Audible is uh, just what uh, exactly what it means there. Audible, just like you get on a smartphone where you would, uh, you know, download uh, audio books. You can actually hook this up to the internet and download audio books to this device. And though if you have a smartphone, I don't really see why you would want to. But if you don't, you know, and you got like a Bluetooth headset, you can hook that up and uh, run your audio books straight here from your uh, from your Garmin uh, GPS. Uh, picture viewer, you can upload uh, pictures to this. So you know. It's, I think it's still got something here, yeah. So you can upload pictures to this. You know, this is just what came on it. Um, not really a feature that, that I would use. But, you know, if you was wanted that up there on your dash just for something to look at, you know, just showing what it can do. Uh, doesn't look bad, you know. Uh, pretty nice little, little viewer there if you want to you know, put a picture of, uh, you know, something that you liked. Then you could do it. Now, we got our world clock here. We have a calculator. Whoops. Back out of that. We got a world clock. We got a calculator, a uh, unit converter, language guide, and then the uh, help menu there. So that's it in applications. Uh, volume, you know, to turn it up and down. This thing's super loud. I mean, you know, I, you're not going to want to leave it up all the way because it is super loud, very loud. You can hear this thing back in the sleeper. Um, this works just like you know any other Garmin GPS. You know where to. You punch this up and uh, you get this menu here. You can enter a search. Uh, you can go into you know categories. Uh, saved, uh, recent, you know, places you've recently been. You can punch your address in uh, if your truck truck down. That gives you truck repair, tires, mobile services, parts and equipment, trailer repair. We got truck stops here, services and towing, scales and way station and lodging. Um, trucking. That gives us uh, all trucking. We got rest areas, truck stops, way stations, parking lots, truck washes and truck dealerships. 
uh, go home. That's just what it means. That'll take you home. Uh, gas stations, restaurants, pretty self-explanatory there. And uh, if you have a shortcut, you know, through the route that you'd like to add, you can punch this in and add it to your route. So, you know, bam, I want to run it right again. I want to do this shortcut, and uh, that'll have it there for you. And you got your uh, categories here, you know, trucking, gas stations, lodging, lodging uh, rest areas, banks and ATMs, medical care, everyday life, shopping, parking, art and entertainment, attractions, recreation, and uh, transit. Uh, yeah, search tools. You got address, uh, where the intersections are here, uh, cities, coordinates. Just uh, pretty standard uh, GPS stuff here, guys. And then recent, of course, that's places that you've recently been. So we'll back out of this and we'll go into a view map. And this is where this, this particular unit really shines. This is a 7-inch unit. And I like to mount mine. I get the little 3M pucks that you can get from Radio Shack, which is just a little puck. And it's got 3M tape on the back of it. And then it's, you know, it's like a you know, shiny plastic on the front. And your suction cup, you just suction it to that. And you can stick it down on the dash. And the reason I like to do that is where I can just reach right over there on the dash right over there. You know, reach up over the steering wheel, strain to reach it to punch stuff in. And you put it down on the dash and you can just, you know, you click it off, punch in whatever you want to, stick it right back on and you're good to go and also you get the GPS down out of the sunlight which makes it a lot easier to see and this thing is really easy to see because it is a seven inch unit um, this thing's honking big I mean it was uh, actually shocking when you get it out of get it out of the box so you just know how big it is here and I'll got it here we'll show you give you a little comparison whoop up uh, grab the iPad here iPad mini and you can see <laughs> this thing's nearly as big as a, nearly as big as an iPad mini <laughs> So, the screen here will split. Say, like, if you need to get off, you know, onto another interstate, you need to merge, whatever, the screen will split, and it'll actually show you, uh, it'll give you, a, they call it lane assist. It'll be on the right side, the screen will split, and it'll give you uh, lane assistance to show you which lane you need to be in. And then there's right here, this is the traffic update. So it's not going to be showing up now because we don't have the power cord. Now, the power cord does have the antenna for the live traffic updates. And uh, that's a really neat feature. So if you're running along, it'll, you know, give you an um, alert. Go bing, bing, bing. Hey, traffic stopped, you know, on a half a mile. Um, you know, you're going to be getting ready for a brake check. And it's like, wow, that's pretty neat, you know. And I ran around Los Angeles, you know. It's like, bam, there it was. And I was like, man, I was really blown away. It's very nice, very nice uh, technology there. Really nice little feature. Uh, you can set this stuff up here different. You know, you got trip A, trip B, and then you, know, you get your little compass, 70 miles an hour, you're running uh, max speed. I don't know, max speed 3.1. I reset all the parameters a while ago. But uh, easier moving average, overall average, total time, moving time, stop time, and you can also run two trips. So say like if you're wanting to keep up with your trip mileage for this week, say like I started off this week and want to see how many miles I ran this week, and I also want to know how many miles I've run, you know, got on each trip here while I'm running it, you, can, you know, you can do that. And driving, you can go in here and you can change the stuff up. It's just selecting the data to display, direction of travel, elevation, um, time of day, grade, sunrise, sunset time, next mile marker. So you can go in and you can you know set that up, whatever it is that, that you want to see. And you hit the little thing down there in the corner and it'll give you a you know mute. You punch it up traffic, which is you know we're gonna be able to do that right now because we don't have the antenna hooked up. So uh, exit services, if you get off that exit here, you can punch it up, hey, I got an exit coming up here, what's up in this exit? Uh, truck map, just what it says it is, truck and search, what it says it is, where am I? Bam, here, here's where you are, you need to write something in your logbook, you know, hey, where the heck am I? What, what, what rest area is this? Bam, that'll do it for you. There's your trip computer, um, so you can go in, and like I showed you a while ago, you know, you can change up, uh, change up all your different parameters, I, mean, I don't know, what's sunrise, sunset, uh, <laughs> I don't really see how that's going to help us out our trucking, but, you know, there it is anyways. Yeah, map layers, that's just, you know, what it says it is. You can layer it up, you know, whatever you know, whatever data sets that you want to have up and looking at. Brightness is self-explanatory. Uh, where to, you know, it's where you punch in where you want to go, and there we have Audible again here in that sub subcategory there. Well, yeah, that's about it. Um, it's a pretty thin unit. Um, fairly lightweight to be so big. And uh, like I say, you just you get this little release right here on the bottom, this little catch right here. You punch that when you reach your and grab it, you just put your thumb right in, and you punch that, and you slide that right up and out of there. It's really nice. Um, see the power little power connector pins right here? When you slide it down, it'll clip right in, and you can take it. Like I say, you can take that off really, just grab it, snap it off, punch in whatever it is that you want, and then you know stick it back up there. A lot easier than reaching up across the dash, you know, ding, 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 and all that stuff. 
Um, like I say, uh, it's a really nice unit. Highly recommend it. Uh, we've had several Garmin's, and uh, we we actually saved up. You know, they had the double points going at the pilot here uh, a lot this year, and uh, we saved up. You know, our, our pilot points, and uh, went in there and got this. I think this uh, Diana. How much was this? How much was this unit? Three ninety nine. Yeah, three ninety nine. So four hundred dollars for it. I mean, it is one of the more pricier GPSs, but for the features you're getting with this, it's really worth it. I mean, it's something you're going to be looking at, you know, all day, using on a daily basis. So, um, you know, I like to get, you know, the, the best that, that we can out here, especially, you know, if you save up your points, then it doesn't cost you anything like, like we did. So there you go, guys. That's about it. Uh, we're actually running a little bit uh, long, especially long for you know one of our little videos. We like to keep them nice and short and concise. But uh, just wanted to go in and show you you know the features of uh, of this unit here. So uh, we're going to call that. Uh, we're going to call this a shoot. There it is, guys. That's the Garmin Diesel D E Z L um, 750. Yep. Oh, 760, sorry, D E Z L 76 uh, L M. And uh, they're carrying these at uh, Petro's. Uh, Blind J has them. Um, I'm sure, you know, probably TA or whatnot will probably carry these as well. Um, like I say, really good unit. Highly would highly recommend this, guys. Y'all be safe out there.